All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring in movie sequences or image sequences created with the movie render queue, uh, the new uh, movie render queue that's just been created for Unreal Engine. Um, so we're going to be using Premiere to do our video editing just because it fits in better with our curriculum and how we do things. Uh, so now I'm going to create a new project. And before I create this project, it's very important to remind everybody, if you watched the previous videos, that I had taken careful uh I've been very careful to organize my files files properly and I had created a folder uh, and I knew exactly where it was and I brought in all my image sequences in that those areas. So I only created scene one and scene two, but you might have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on how you're doing your thing. Just be really aware careful that you have enough space on your hard drive. So right away I need to uh, fix this. So I'll just call it movie. I'll go browse to that folder on my D drive. So you need to make sure your students do this. I sometimes handhold this part because if they don't do it right, chaos ensues and all the files are all over the place and it's really hard to fix after. So I'll click OK. Uh, the other thing I like to do is create some bins in here. So I'm going to call uh, scene one. OK, and press enter and I'll just open that. So now I'm going to go and import my scene one. And how do you bring in, uh, so go to the folder, which, and you see, I put everything for my premier project in the same spot. So I'll click on the first one. It looks like I might have to edit that one out. I'll, I'll click on here and I'll click on image sequence. So import image sequence from Unreal Engine, uh, from using Premiere Pro. So it's very easy to set up. You just need to click on the first one. Okay. And what it'll do is it'll basically put one. It looks like there's, well, there's only one. No, there's not. There's like the whole sequence is there. Then what you can do is drag it over. Now I exported this in uh, 1080p. So if you're not sure, you can always go check your uh, project settings or your sequence settings. Um, oh, there it is. So there you go, that 1920 by 1080p. So I know it's okay, I'm all right. Now, you, you could remove this from the scene here if you don't want it there, but I'm going to leave it. It's no big deal. So I'm going to then include my next bin, scene two. Okay, and I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to import my next. So basically, each sequence has to be imported in their own folder. Otherwise, you'll have a bunch of issues. So before I uh, look at this, I'm going to just... Go see the first one and let's have a look, see if it looks good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, just check for length and so on. Maybe it needs to be shortened. So, you know, this is panning up to the character. So uh, as I can see, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna, it's, it's a bit too long, so that's fine. And then I'm gonna go get my second scene and add it. And I'll just press play. So basically double checking. Um, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I think I imported the same one twice. So let's just delete it. It's only, even though it's several movie clips, you can just go there. I'm gonna go up a shot, click on sequence, click on scene two, I mean, import. Uh, and I'm gonna go to scene two. There you go, click open. And I'll just drag it in and press play and again adjust. I'm going to actually just shorten it there. You know, I have a lot and, you know, that's kind of how you can, you can do the editing in Unreal Engine or right there. It's a little short. Okay, I'll extend it a little bit. And I can maybe pause it there because there's an error in that, that export I did. But uh, so there you go. So then when you're done. You basically export it the way you normally would. Uh, obviously, I'm not done, but I just want to show you the workflow so you're able to do your own movie. And click Media, and I'll export Export as H.264, uh, and I won't actually do it. And make sure that I know where this is going, okay? So this is uh, my final render, and I always double-check this. Okay, I'll just send it to the D drive, or I'll send it in here with all the others and uh, I'll be done with that. So setting up your file management, really critical. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.